Um, so, in this video, I'll be talking about Nepenthes ventricosa. This plant is decently very easy to grow on the beginner species. As you know, my alada, my Nepenthes alada or ventrata, I'm very good. I'm not very good at identification. Um, they're a little bit harder to grow than Nepenthes vent ventricosa. This species makes very, really big and tubby pictures when mature. And also, it looks similar to Sibuensis. It's like Sibuensis, but only difference is Sibuensis is like Nepenthes ventricosa, but it's on steroids. So, it have way bigger pictures. And also, really hard to get Sibuensis to picture, because... It's just hard. You need tons of light, tons of humidity to get it to picture. And I grow this highland. Um, so during the night in this grow chamber, which I'll feature in the next video, I put ice in it to keep the nighttime temperature down. And during the day, it's, it have those heating lamps and compact fluorescence. Um, also, uh, yeah. My, with my Venus flytraps that I just filmed. Well, I'm doing this ventricosa thingy. It is very nice plant. Getting bigger leaf jumps. Probably soon have to repot it. Very nice plant. Looking forward to get it bigger. And the care is similar to my Nepenthes alata. And you can find these plants online, in garden centers. Um, everywhere. Not everywhere, like, you can occasionally find them in Home Depot, garden centers, but most common, yeah, this is one of the most common plants. Very hardy, easy to take care of. Recommend this plant strongly, and not very expensive. Like, the dentes, they're, they're decently expensive plants to get. Well, they're not the Penfees, so you'll need to worry about that. Well, if you're getting one, if you're looking forward to get your, getting your own Nepenthes, Ventracosa it is. It have nice size pictures when it grows, and easy to grow. Like, really hardy. So, yeah. Thanks for watching.